I was sitting here working out this morning, but I just thought for a second, Memphis fans, imagine the terror that Penny's going to be in the NBA draft room. Instantly, a guy walks in the door. He's got a couple players being drafted, two at minimum. Precious and James Wiseman, Wiseman are thought to be lottery picks. Even if Precious drops, both will still be in the first round. It's a lot of TV time for the coach. Uh, might even be a third player. He walks in. He's actually sitting at the table with his players. There are players from other schools sitting at the table with their thirty, with their forty-year-old parents who grew up watching Penny. <laughs> wow. So that's going to change the conversation. Good looking guy, looks good, dressed well, and he's going to steal the show. That's the terror that most of these coaches are dreading because it's an unfair playing field. Not only will he know the players, he's going to be a good buddy of the NBA personnel, a good buddy of the announcers. Uh, uh, he's going to know his way around the room. He's actually going to own the room. They're dreading that moment. Now, Memphis, play, Memphis fans, I hear y'all ready. We're going to be on NCAA probation. We got bad things coming. We got the doom and gloom. We're so quick in Memphis to go flight. Would you rather be part of the conversation at all, or would you want to return to the days of Tubby? I've been a Memphis fan since uh, the days of Wayne Yates. The day of, of Smoke Holloman, James Bradley, Keith Lee, Doom Haynes. I've seen every Memphis team's high moments and, and, and their low moments. I saw the team where Sylvester Gray and Marvin Alexander could own the world and they hit probation. You got to think, folks, that there is some type of thing wrong in the NCAA. Cal's been in trouble everywhere he's been. And I'm not Cal's worst enemy. Uh, I mean, Cal's not high on my enemy list, but he gets away with it because of the school that he's at. Rick Pitino. Now, he may be off the deep end now, but I wouldn't count Rick Pitino out of a comeback. Folks, uh, you know, even Mr. Blue Blood, Krzyzewski, he used to uh, criticize the one and done, and now they're doing the one and done at Duke. So, folks, look. Uh, NCAA's time and actions are being monitored by a whole lot of people soon, and there may be changes there, but the changes never come. Don't feel sorry for James Wiseman. He's about to make $300 million. Don't feel sorry for Precious. He's there. Don't feel sorry for Penny. He's already rich. Memphis folks, at least we're part of the conversation. If that team from way back when, if we could have stopped, that jump shot from Kansas, and we won the national championship. I knew we had it. We were up by nine to uh, less than three minutes left. I just knew Memphis is finally going to do it. Even if they had snatched that championship back, I still would have enjoyed that moment. Folks, let's enjoy the moment that we're in. Let the doomsayers have their way. Let the doom and gloom folks have their way again. But this is going to be one of the greatest years of Memphis basketball ever. And yes, their penny is a concern of theirs. I uh, just wanted to holler at you on this. Be blessed.